Welcome to this short video overview of a new uh, tactical scope made by Ayor in Bucharest, in Romania. This scope is called 3 to 25 by 50 Lutas. Uh, <clears throat> to be exact, Lutas is the name of a project in which uh, this company uh, is developing three different scopes. 2.5 to 16 by 42 this model which you have here now 3 to 25 by 50 and uh, 5 to 40 by 56 uh, so this is the latest generation of IR scopes uh, and probably also this particular model is the best one which they produce at the end of 2015 uh, compared to other scopes made by IOR, you can see that the tube is a little bit smaller, it is uh, 35 millimeter again, not 40, and as you can see the side focus is back. They used to produce only the scopes which had a special ring for adjusting the parallax on the objective uh, part of the scope, now they went back to normal side turret for the focusing. Uh, as you can see this is a super zoom, it starts at magnification power 3 and it goes all the way to 25, so this is a really super zoom scope and what is the most astonishing is that it is really small, it is smaller than the comparable <coughs> uh, Schmidt & Bender uh, 3 to 20 by 50 ultra short, it is quite, I would say at least five, uh, three to four centimeters shorter so a really a compact scope but it does has a weight of approximately 1100 grams so 1100 grams so it, it is a still a heavy scope like expected from IR all of their scopes are really robust <clears throat> reliable and and heavy of course even if they are as compact as this one uh, this one is approximately 33 centimeters long, it is um, really tough, it is waterproof, recoil proof, it's made out of one piece and it has shot glass, really good tracking and for the first time from for IOR it has locking turrets, as you can see, now the turret can move and then you can lock it back to the position. This is a mil mil scope. It comes with a 30 years warranty. I would really suggest to Ayur to make better manuals. The manual, it's nothing is wrong with the manual if you look at the information that it carries. But the design of a manual is uh, something that uh, could have been done better. But uh, they are doing great scopes and they don't care about the manuals or how the box quality is they produce quality scopes, not quality packing. Together with the scope you also get a sunshade. And like I mentioned before, this is a mil mil scope. So it has a reticle in the first focal plane. Uh, all the reticle subtensions are in mils and also the clicks are in mils. Um, the reticle is illuminated, digitally controlled, plus and minus and the illumination is meant for low light use. The, at the start of the production now you can only get one reticle in this scope and it's, it's similarly designed as Horus reticles so it has a lot of uh, holding points below the center of the reticle and also to each side it looks like a Christmas tree um, so the reticle design is very popular at the moment this one. If you look at the turrets, the turrets have a locking mechanism. This is a big plus, first time can be seen on the IR scope and it has a double zero. That means that you can, you can have it zeroed at 100 meters let's say and then you have a second zero let's say for 300 meters and you can just turn to the second zero and you're ready to shoot at 300 meters. Um, the turrets have 10 mils of travel in one 
revolution counterclockwise and you can see that each turn is marked by these markings underneath the turret. The total internal elevation is approximately 30 mils, a little bit more, so there is plenty of elevation, more than almost anyone could need. The clicks are in mils, one centimeter per hundred meters. The turrets have a nice feel, they are audible, like expected from the IR scope. I do think that they lack better turn indicator. This would be even if, if they would have a turn indicator similar to let's say Kales or Schmidt & Bender or, or Minox tactical scopes. I think then these turrets would be almost perfect. Maybe the clicks could be a little bit crisper, but this is like looking for a needle in a haystack. So it's not a, a big minus. If I make a short review, I think that uh, this is a, a really step forward for IOR, uh, especially because this, uh, this scope is so small, it is so compact. Optically, it is really close to the, to the best in class. There is still a small difference, but it is really hard to notice. Uh, on the other hand, the scopes have a more attractive price point and are smaller if you compare to other scopes, tactical scopes with such, such an extreme zoom and 50mm objective lens. I also have to say that the uh, uh, wide field of view is a, a really nice bonus and there is totally, totally no tunnel effect at the uh, lower magnification range. At, let's say magnification power 3, there is no tunnel effect. This is also very nice. Um, The room for improvement would be, in my opinion, only for the turrets. If the turn indicator would be better, and if this scope would came with, let's say, double turn turrets, I think this would also be a small improvement which would make this scope even better. Everything else, it is only worth praising. So, thank you for watching. If you will need any additional information, Please do not hesitate to use comments to post any kind of questions, send us an email or visit our webpage. Thank you for watching.